Ava Max recently did an interview with Rolling Stone, and in that interview, Rolling Stone highlights the significance of her song Sweet But Psycho being the only pop song to be included on the New Music Friday playlist at the time of its release. Keep in mind, it's literally just new music. It updates every single Friday. But the quote says, Spotify added the track to their New Music Friday playlist, the only pop song featured that week, she says. The song's sticky melody was a stark contrast to popular chart tarpers at the time, which included Drake's In My Feelings, Travis Scott's Sicko Mode, and LMA's Boot Up. Many artists were bringing into R&B, but Max wanted to double down on upbeat pure pop, Sweet But Psycho kind of paved the way for pop music again, she says. Which is one of the most delusional things I've ever read. Sweet But Psycho was a hit with absolutely no cultural footprint. It sounds like a generic Lady Gaga song from 10 years ago. But also the fact that a New Music Friday playlist is being used to validate this point is just kind of dumb. Because pop is something that has always been on the charts, it's not something that needs its way paved. Especially not from an early 2010s throwback act, who's trying to drive hard on this bygone era that we haven't even had time to miss yet. Like yes, hip hop was a dominant genre of the late 2010s, and a lot of pop and hip hop integrated as well. But pure pop has always been on the charts, like it's never left. Even if you look at the charts during Sweet But Psycho's peak week, you'll see that the majority of the songs in the top 10 are in fact pop songs. I Don't Care with Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber, Old Town Road, Bad Guy with Billie Eilish, Sucker, Jonas Brothers, Talk, Sunflower, Dancing with a Stranger with Sam Smith and Normani, Me with Taylor Swift and Brandon Yuri. So as you can see, Sweet But Psycho wasn't even the best performing pop song during its peak. And if you want to go even further, just look at the year ends list in 2018 and 2019. We have Perfect by Ed Sheeran at number two, Meant to Be by BB Rexa at number three, Havana by Camila Cabello at number four, The Middle by Zed at number eight, Girls Like You at number 10, like some of the most inescapable pop hits there were. Then further down the list, you have New Rules by Dua Lipa and No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande and Delicate by Taylor Swift, like all of these big, pop songs. And then let's go to the 2019 year ends list because that's the year that Sweet But Psycho achieved most of its chart success. We obviously have Old Town Road, Sunflower, Without Me by Halsey, Bad Guy, Wow by Post Malone, Happier by Marshmello and Bastille, Seven Rings by Ariana Grande, Talk with Khalid, Sucker with the Jonas Brothers, High Hopes by Panic at the Disco, Thank You Next, Truth Hurts, Senorita, I Don't Care, like there's so many. Shallow by Lady Gaga at number 19. And then right above Ava Max on the year ends list is Girls Like You by Maroon 5 and Cardi B. Literally one of the biggest pop songs of the past decade. So it's not like Sweet But Psycho was a loner with being a pop hit on the charts during that time period. It wasn't even the biggest pop hit of its time period. And also no one is running to the studio to sound like Ava Max or Sweet But Psycho. Which once again sounds like a watered down Lady Gaga from 10 years ago. Even Lady Gaga doesn't sound like that anymore present day. And when she did sound like that, it was really good and was packed with a ton of personality. And I can't say the same for Ava. But yeah, Gaga doesn't sound like that anymore. She has tried different things. And moved on to a different style. Now, if we want to talk about the biggest and most influential pop releases recently, I would say that would have to go to After Hours and Future Nostalgia because they completely shifted the sound of radio and even Ava Max has hopped on their trend. Like present day, she is currently making songs that sound like a watered down version of the 80s sound on After Hours and some of the dance pop on Future Nostalgia. And even when it comes to popular music during 2018 and 2019, that whole phase, we lived in a world of Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, and Billie Eilish. I mean, that's what it was all about and they had huge hits and huge albums during that time period. So I think this statement is delusional one, two, completely false, and three, just egotistical. Not everyone can be impactful, like just stick to being a hit maker. That is okay, like it's nothing against people who don't have, you know, actual impact. But most people aren't going to leave a cultural footprint on the industry. 
And that's okay. Her songs and music are pretty generic and faceless. They could be sung by pretty much anyone. The type of dance pop she makes doesn't even have the smart production choices of someone like Dua Lipa, the way she and her producers did on Future Nostalgia. The way Ava takes on dance pop is more like a watered down version of what someone else is already doing or did. Literally the only thing Sweet But Psycho paved the way for is Ava Max's career. 